please give me a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to their finances. Ooh, we got four wands. Happiness, the need to celebrate, okay? Even possibly marriage or merging. Merging, okay? Maybe a business partnership. Collaboration. A need to party and have fun and celebrate something. Please give me a message for Gemini uh, when it comes to their finances. You may have celebrated a milestone recently or you will be doing so. We have the two of pentacles, okay? You may have so many um, opportunities coming in. You're going to have to learn how to juggle and balance everything. We have the Hierophant card. You could have Taurus somewhere in your birth chart. You could be a teacher, a life coach, um, some sort of leader, somebody that people get advice from, okay? This also can represent marriage. So when we get the Four of Wands and the Taurus card, that can, or the Hierophant, okay? Marriage, either literally marriage for love or some sort of business merge or collaboration. Maybe you're marrying somebody that's rich. Maybe you're getting married and you're going to have to learn how to balance work-life balance, okay? Working and spending time with your spouse, we have the Hermit card. You could have Virgo somewhere. Um, and if that's the case, you're probably really good at budgeting, okay? Um, you may have had to do some self-reflection when it comes to your money mindset recently, okay? So if you've done that and you figured out what your subconscious blockages are when it comes to money, that could be what led or what is leading to this celebration, okay? This milestone of some sort. Please give me a message for Gemini. Justice could have Libra somewhere, okay? Could be receiving a... Um, sum of money from like a lawsuit or something like that or something is being balanced out maybe you're owed money for something and you didn't even realize it and you might just get a surprise check in the mail okay so something is being made whole something is being made right when it comes to your finances maybe y'all use the same person cardi b would you be using to win these uh lawsuits because <laughs> i just saw that she won another lawsuit somebody else owed her some money like what's going on and i think cardi b is a libra okay we have a uh, eight of cups. So yeah, you had to do some sort of self-reflection. You had to leave some sort of thought process. Okay. Maybe um, religion, maybe the way you grew up, maybe you had a poverty mindset because this can represent something that is a uh, tradition. Maybe um, you had to break some generational curses when it comes to finances. Okay. You had to walk away from the way your family was doing things and start new traditions. Okay. So that is helping to bring in money for you. Anything else from this deck? The tower, yeah, you may have recently gone through a bad tower, but a good tower is coming now. That's going to shake up your finances in a good way, okay? Towers aren't always bad, okay? It just means, see, we got the victory card. We got the six of wands, victory, public recognition, people re having no choice but to recognize who you really are. Getting credit where credit is due with this justice card, okay? You have a tower that's happening financially that's going in a good direction, okay? It is tearing down your old ways of doing things with the Hierophant card, your old way of thinking, okay? Your old way of living, and basically clearing a path so you can build new on top of that, okay? And we have the four of pentacles, like I said, with the Virgo card, the hermit card, you all may be good at budgeting, but you may have to loosen the purse strings. Either you need to learn how to budget or you need to loosen the purse strings a little bit because if you know that you're abundant, then you don't have to be cheap, okay? You can be smart, but you don't have to be cheap, okay? Because you know when you spend money, it's on its way back to you right then and there times 10, okay? Take whichever one resonates. Queen of Swords, you all could be, air, yeah, you're a Gemini, so yeah, air signs, okay? Or you could be using your voice to make money, maybe a podcast or something. Ace of Cups, new opportunities coming in, okay? From speaking your truth, from people connecting with you emotionally. And uh, with this Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands and the Hierophant and the Justice card, some of y'all getting married. <laughs> I don't know, y'all about to marry a rich person? That would be nice. Okay, let's use a few more decks. I am getting hot. I don't think I have my air on. Please give me a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got the Lover's card. What I tell y'all, some of y'all might be meeting a rich person, wealthy. Please give me a message for Gemini. <clears throat> I should have brought my water over here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Unexpected income. Love to see that, okay? Money coming in unexpected ways. Make sure, you, make sure you affirm that and say that out loud and believe it, okay? Concern? Don't be worried. If you're worried about your finances, you have unexpected income, which sometimes that's not comforting because you're like, but where is it coming from, though? Just know that it's there, okay? Please give me a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to their finances. Pathway, new pathways are opening up. False person. 
Okay, somebody may have been revealed to you recently or they will be revealed to you recently that you may have thought was working with you, but they're working against you. Okay, they other people can sense when you're on the rise. Other people can sense uh, when you have the type of energy that just attracts. Other people can sense when people are paying attention to you and when people want to hear what you have. They can sense that even sometimes before you do and they want to come in and interfere. Okay, we have also the... Number is 35 on this card, and we have 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. You may have been seeing 88 or 888. Recently, you may have gotten a message of concern recently, maybe that made you worry about finances, maybe some unexpected bill. Unexpected bills mean unexpected income. How about that? Say that. If I get unexpected bills, that must mean I got some unexpected income coming in to take care of that. <laughs> so I'm not worried, okay? That's not a message of concern. That doesn't mean I got more money coming in, okay? Because I always have all the resources. I always have more than enough money to pay for everything I need to pay for. So unexpected bills mean unexpected income, period. You got to transmute. Don't be in despair, okay? Instead of going straight to despair when you get some bad news, figure out how to spin it in, into some good news, okay? Transmute it. This is not to say be naive and to avoid problems, but we have to remember how powerful our minds are and we can literally change our situation. I never noticed this said not hiring on the back. I never noticed that. Maybe you recently applied for a job and you didn't get the job and now you're worried because you have deadlines and things that you need to pay for. You're going to get some unexpected income, okay? And I've been telling everybody, our guys are being stingy with the information. They're not telling us how things are going to be happening. They're asking us to practice blind faith right now. Okay, the uh, number on this card is 32, which equals five. They're asking us to practice blind faith to know that changes are coming. Hold on, change is coming. Stay strong, don't you worry about a thing. Okay, that's a gospel song. Uh, 18, child, okay? You all may have children and you're like... um. Blind faith is cool and all, but I got kids to take care of. I ain't got. I need to know that they're going to be straight. I need to know that I'm going to be straight because I need to be a responsible parent. Okay? It is tough when you have kids. This manifestation stuff is tough when you have kids. It's easier when you don't have kids. When you have kids, you have to have a certain level of practicality. Okay? So you don't... It's trying to find a balance between being practical and being hopeful and having blind faith is tough when you're a parent. Um, but just hang in there. Okay? Tap into the childlike energy of believing anything can happen you literally have to believe in miracles right now official person you're going to be getting some good news to counteract that bad news that you received or that worrisome news that you received okay uh messages of concern are just basically there to show you how powerful you can be with your mind how can i get out of this situation main male you could be a man asking or watching this or a man could be delivering some sort of message to you or information or money like i said <laughs> some of y'all are getting married and we have gift. You're going to be receiving a gift from somebody. Okay, um, let's do the spell casting deck and move on because this live is getting long. I might have to come back and do a second live for the other signs that I didn't do because I don't know how long these lives can be. And it's already one hour and 17 minutes because I don't go live like that. So please give me a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to their finances. And then we're going to end this live and I'll come right back and do another live for the other signs. We have beauty and transformation, okay? Like I said, with the Libra, some of y'all may have pretty privilege. Some of you all uh, are glowing up. This beauty can just represent glowing up. You're transforming right in front of people's eyes. And remember, I said people can notice that even before you notice. Because remember, you know how when you are trying to grow your hair out or you're trying to lose weight or something, you don't notice the change because you see yourself every day. So you don't notice the subtle changes. But somebody might see you that hasn't seen you for a while. And they may be like, dang, you lost a lot of weight. Or dang, your hair grew. Like when I look back on my pictures when I first started my natural hair journey, I'm like, dang, my hair grew. But I can't tell. You know, you can't really see it because you see yourself every day. So you have been transforming and glowing up right before people's eyes. Okay. Some people are happy for you and some people aren't. And that's just how it goes. Make sure you're, you're able to see your own beauty, though, because that's what's really important. It doesn't matter if everybody else sees it if you don't boundaries you need to set boundaries with people like i said some people are going to be revealing themselves as false people people don't have your uh greatest and highest good at heart and once you find out about those people you need to enforce the proper boundaries period you probably need to enforce boundaries now okay y'all probably can't see this but there's something around her and i always imagine something like this fear thing around me for protection okay so you all are going to need to up your protection protect your manifestations they're happening and people are hating on it okay people are hating they don't want to see you shining but you're glowing up anyways 